It was an early start from Umkumar's ski boat club and a bit of a walk to start the day with. Lovely morning here on the south coast of Natal. Uh, we're at Umkomas on the north bank. I've joined the, the guys from Dawa, Japan and England is here, Robin, uh, Motto and Koki. We brought them and Ray Thompson is here with us and Mike Pereira. And uh, we've all come together to scratch for some fish, look for some stone bream. I'm going to start off definitely looking for a cob in the back there. It's still early morning. Good area for cob and maybe get a nice cobby on there. Um, so a couple of baits I'll look at quickly, but let's get rigged up. Alright guys, so what I'm kitting up, one of my uh, new favourites in the size, the 12 foot 6 Power Slim Dawa Saltist. A fantastic rod to get the extra distance. Nice and light, I'm matching it up with a 5000 Saltist Dawa reel. And, uh, that's pulled with 30 pound J braid. I've got a 100 pound uh, Saltiga leader on. And then I put a fluorocarbon Siglon leader in front of that. And that's just for visibility, but less for the fish. Quickly, all the rods were put together, and the guys got ready to fish and put some catches on the board. The lightest tackle possible makes this type of fishing really enjoyable. When I cut this bait, so I fitted uh, on this particular trace, I fitted a uh, Mustad cast clip. That's this ring sway foil, already fitted with foam, which I'm you get. And that's just the base of my bait. Which I can secure my other bait on. It's also there for the movement, the tentacles. And I've used a little toothpick in my hook's eye to hold that for me on firmly because I'm clipping the bait, it can shoot up the line. And then latex cotton. And this you can put on nice and firm, very firm. Then what I'm doing is I'm splitting my tentacles or making tentacles. Made a movement in the water. Lango tail from Air at Can Marine. And this bait, what I'm using now is both copper, cob stumpies and whatever else, kiggies that swim past you will not leave this bait. Langoustine resembles uh, or is very similar to crayfish, the smell. Get enough around there to get the smell out. I use my cover piece, tough side to the bottom, to the top. smell the whole time it's got the lovely chocker strong chocker smell soft chocker on the top if Beck has heated it will just release smell quicker it's got the movement and I'm gonna add two eyes and that you just cotton on okay like that and then I'm taking a little bit of glitter If I can get it open with my wet hands. <laughs> and then we get it open. All over us. So Karine's going to ask a couple of questions when I get home with a whole bunch of glitter over me. But so be it. Anything to catch a fish, guys. And there we go. Chocker with langoustine inside. Wrapped with chocker. Two latex eyes and latex cotton with glitter on the top. That should do the trick. 
it's going to get you caught. Even a nice Stampy, Kingy, they're all welcome. Everyone was quite eager to get a bait in the water and the first fish on the board. Six to seven foot rods with 1,500 to 2,500 reels and eight pound line was used. A variety of different prawns, fresh prawns, small prawns, shrimps, white, pink, red, any prawns were on the menu. Okay guys, what I've done is just get over the reef where that water is working. You see the waves working in the back? There's a reef at the back, so it's breaking over it. It's creating a bit of a turmoil there. And we're hoping for a decent fish that can swallow that bait. I immediately felt a youngster coming to have a taste of the bait. And uh, it's gone quiet now. I had a bit of a, a lift and then a drop. So I'm hoping it's a bigger fish testing it out. But that's pretty much where we're casting. You can see there in the back. There's white water in the back. It's pushing over to where your waves are rolling over the gully there. The gully is in between the two reefs. So you just get onto the edge of this of this reef or to the edge of the other reef or in that gully will do will be great as well, clearly because of that working water there. Uh, we're hoping for the best. Let's see. Mike Pereira was the first to put a catch on the board. Motto was next to follow and really had his game plan right for the day. Or so it turned out. Koki also followed with a fish soon after. A nice little black tail. first to accomplish the target species with a nice stand breed. That's a fish! Wow. That's a fish! Really cool. Stone deep! Stone deep! This fish wanted to hook, so right quickly put off the line, so it can be safely released. I persisted a little bit longer with a bigger base to see if there wasn't something bigger around. A little while later, I couldn't contain myself anymore and switched to the lighter tackle to join in the fun. Nice little stone bream. And they get quite a bit bigger than this. Nice fight. Very nice on the light tackle. I've got my BG 2500 8 pound J braid and a crossfire 7 foot. And then I'm using a small little mustad hook. And that does the trick. That's how you get them. Alright guys, well we brought the Daiwa guys out. Like I said, you look for some reef where the water's washing over. Broken reef, we're in the north bank of Mkomaz. We're fishing very light tackle for the stone bream and stuff. I started early this morning just fishing for cob and on my second cast now here yeah, on the lighter tackle I got a stony. Um, I'm now ever using the white prawn, those yellow boxes of Atkan marine prawn, the white ones, and uh, they just work like a bob. But uh, catch us next time, we're going to carry on fishing here for another two hours or so, and uh, see what else we can get, we can get some bigger stone bread. Really good fun to keep yourself busy this time of the year, 
and keep yourself fishing because we're all waiting for the sods and the shadron and everything to come this May kind of May month of the year it's kind of in between seasons the summer fish and the winter fish and then it's quite nice to come look for the stonies lovely day not a lot of wind sun shining nicely and uh, the water is looking great here for them that's why we're here but uh, catch us catch us in the next vlog to see if we get some bigger ones